How are all you guys doing today? Now, today, I want to talk about something that has been just constantly been talked about on a lot of forums, it's been talked about on YouTube quite a bit as well, and that is VR, virtual reality. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about everything that you really do need to know about virtual reality. If you are a complete noob at it, this video is going to be perfect for you, and if you're just trying to get a little bit more information on this, this video is for you as well. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy. The entire goal of virtual reality is to replace reality with some sort of computer generated environment that you can explore and go crazy in. That is the entire goal behind this. I kind of think about virtual reality like I think of headphones. Headphones can really immerse you in a song, they can immerse you in any type of audio, whereas Virtual reality is something like a goggle that, that you put over your eyes that actually immerses you in a different world visually. And if you can combine audio and visual, you are in a completely different world and you, you don't even know that it is a virtual world. Now, virtual reality really started out as a high-tech type of simulation that would teach people how to fly planes, shoot, drive, and was mostly reserved for people that needed this kind of training and they wanted it to be cheaper without crashing planes and shooting off thousands of rounds. That's what this was made for. But over time, of course, everybody got into it and it got into the gaming industry. And right now, there are pre-orders for a bunch of different ones. There are some that are out. There are some prototypes out right now. The Oculus Rift is one of the more popular ones. And that one is right now on pre-order and it's going to be released in March. Even though there are many virtual reality devices out there right now, you, need, you do need to understand that, that it's very, very hard to make the these headsets. It's, it's a very, very complex system of sensors and magnifying lenses and screens, 4K screens. It's really, really high tech. Some things that you really do need to understand is that the picture you are seeing is magnified. So the pixels are very, very, very visible. So the high resolution screen is something that is very necessary. And in the Oculus Rift, they're trying to push it to be 4K. And I know that they are releasing games with the Oculus Rift when it comes out that are going to be able to support this kind of resolution and make it even a more immersive and enjoyable experience for the consumer. Because this device is blowing up so fast in the gaming industry, you have so many competitors competing for the number one spot. The Oculus Rift, Samsung VR, HTC Vive. I mean, there's a lot of other ones too, but these are kind of the top competitors right now. Even though all of these competitors do exist, one really does stand out over all of the other ones, and that is the Oculus Rift. This is the one that is constantly being talked about. So let's cover this one right now. It's going to be coming out, releasing at $600. So yeah, on top of that, you're going to need a very, very high-end computer to be able to run this device. You can't have your four gigabytes of RAM and a built-in graphics card in your motherboard, it's not going to be able to support this. You're going to have to have a lot of high-tech specs in your computer to be able to run a Oculus Rift. But the $600 is coming in at a good reason. This is a next-gen device. So if it's going to be running a 4K screen and it is going to be running all of these new technologies, it's going to start out high and it's going to come down, of course. I mean, the Oculus Rift isn't going to stay out at $600. I mean, remember what the PlayStation 3 came out at? The PlayStation 2 was coming out at $300, I think, back in the day. In 2000, that's ridiculous. But as new technology becomes old technology, or worn-in technology, for lack of a better term, they actually start going down in price. Now, talking about the Oculus Rift, what's going to be coming in the box is you're going to get the Oculus Rift, of course. You're going to be getting a controller. It's actually an Xbox One controller. And in my opinion, that is the best controller on the market. It's coming with the sensor and the remote control for the $600. And it's also going to be coming with, like I said earlier, two different games that are going to be bundled with it. It's going to be the Space Shooter Eve and a 3D platformer Lucky's Tale. And I don't know very much about these games, but there's a lot of really interesting pictures out there on these games, and they actually look very good for virtual reality compared to what I have seen so far. There is a lot more information that is going to be flooding in over time, and I'm going to try to stay on top of this as much as I can, but right now, this is all we have on the Oculus Rift and all of the other devices that are going to be getting released. There are some itty-bitty things that I really didn't mention, but I didn't think it was really necessary for the video concerning that this video is kind of based around the people that really don't know what it's about and the people that want just the basic information and what a virtual reality headset really does. 
So I hope you liked the video. Leave a like, leave a subscription. It really does help me out. I will see you all later.